Funkable app making tutorial, no code app builder. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now, if you're someone that is looking to create their own mobile app, you can do it simply with Funkable. There's no need to hire a software development team or to find someone that can build the tool for you and then having to manage it. All of it can be done on Funkable. Funkable is a platform which allows you to build apps without any coding required. So it allows you to use it for operations, founders, product, IT agencies, and you have multiple different use cases such as field services, employee management, customer engagement, and consumer applications. So let's get started with Thunkable. To get started, click on try for free and you can get started for free on Thunkable. Once you do that, we're just going to reconnect into Thunkable so that we can proceed. Now, once you click on get started for free, you can sign up by Google, Apple, or your email address. This is totally up to you. We're just going to be proceeding on with Google over here. And I'm just going to be selecting the Google account that I want to use to get started with Thunkable. Now, once I have chosen my account, I can proceed on to the next step. So how are you planning to use Thunkable? Well, I want to use this for my personal use and then I'm just an enthusiast. After that, we're just going to proceed over here. And then once you do that, this is what Thunkable is going to look like. Now on your top right, you have the ability to create a brand new project or even use their AI template generator. I personally really like their AI template and their sample projects. You guys can see they have some sample projects available. So if you're unsure about how you can layer and create your app, you can use their sample project. They even have a public gallery. So the public gallery is projects from other creators all around the world that are sharing their applications. Now we're going to go into my project and then click on try AI sample. Once you do that, you're going to proceed with entering your idea. So I want an app that can be used for employee management management and employee management and time clocks shift management now from here you're going to choose if you want this to be a private app or a public app if you are on the free plan on Funkable, you do not have the ability to create private applications so everyone can access your project on the public library right now the ai app generator is going to determine the structure of your application as well as just the basic wireframe of your application so that you can proceed with customizations and i'm just going to let it build you can see it's building it in four particular steps and the first step is generating Generating our login screen. So we're just going to wait until this is created. Then it's creating our dashboard. It's creating our shift screen. And then it's probably going to create our time clocks or maybe our employee screen. So now that everything has been created, we can proceed. We're just going to close up this onboarding video. And then on the left, you're going to see all your components. First off, we have our login component, which includes our logo, title, username, password, and registration. Below that, we have our dashboard. So within this, it would have the title of the person. On the right side, you guys can see the label. If you close this out, you can have an empty string and you can add whatever. So let's say I just want to add hi. And then after that, we have welcome Alex Johnson. Now within our welcome label, we can change this or remove this if we do not want to include these types of labels, like so. We have a clock in, view shift, and then employee section. Then after that, we have our shift section. So we have upcoming shifts as well as past shifts. And then we have employees. So all of the employees would be listed here. Now, let's say I want to edit this section. So I can click on over here and you guys can see that uh, we have the employees added. But if I want, I can remove maybe editing options for people or I can remove this section altogether if I do not require this. Then on the top, I can add more screens and you can only add five screens on their free plan so you do have to upgrade to add more now below the, your actual screens or components you will see your add component section so you guys can see if i click on add components i have different components including buttons labels text images and data data is going to be added on the left so in your left menu bar this is your design section and then your data section and then you have all of your data sources so you can click on plus and then click on create new you have three options to import your data whether you want to create your own table over here, if you want to use Airtable to import your data, or Google Sheets. 
Then below that, you even have asset management, cloud variables, as well as settings. You can add your project description, application name, and publisher app. Below that, you even have your AI tool, so you can add an inline AI assistant as well as an AI image generator and text generator, which can help you in designing your app very quickly. Now, once done, you can click on web preview to view what the entire application is going to look like, and then you can do a test on device. So you can live test this on your own device so you're able to see if it's working properly. After that, you can just click on publish and download and you have two options. You can download on iOS, download on Android, but if you want to publish the application, you do have to upgrade and then you can share this application on the top right with other team members or other de developers. And just like that, we have our first project ready. Now, if you want to later on edit this, you can always re-access and then go back into blocks to start you know, viewing your blocks and editing that as well as viewing the design to later on make any changes appropriately. Now on the left, we are going to just take a look at the public gallery and let's say I want to view the computer or the trunkable employee directory. So I can just take a look at what other people are designing and how they have designed. This can also give you some inspiration on how you want to design your application and how you can customize it accordingly. On the left, you will even see logic modules that you can add and general modules that you can add for your application. Now. On the bottom left, you will see the number of tokens you've used and the tokens you have left. This is really important to take note of because uh, you do have a limited number of tokens and if you want to add more tokens, then you would have to upgrade. Now, with yearly billing, you can save 35%, but on monthly billing, their accelerator plan is $19 and you get 20,000 AI tokens. On the free plan, you get 2,000 AI tokens and you can create three public projects, so you can basically create three applications and you can add five screens per project. Then on their builder plan at $59, you get 50,000 AI tokens and the advanced plan gives you 100,000 AI tokens. However, the accelerator plan is really nice because it does allow you to create a really comprehensive application with all the customizations that you generally might need. So it is truly something that is going to suffice for most businesses. However, if you want custom branding, that is only available on the builder and advanced plan. And if you want chat support as well as published applications, then you need the builder and advanced. Because because on the accelerator plan, you're not actually able to publish your application on the App Store or on the Google Play Store. So do keep that in mind if you're opting for those particular plans. In general, I do think that you get a lot of value for money, especially if you're opting for yearly billing. Then your builder plan is only $37 and the advanced plan is only $99. You're going to be saving $270 on the builder and $1,000 on the advanced. So it definitely is something to try out for most you know, new app builders that are unfamiliar with coding. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else, make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.